I got. I got. Ben I Harold carries knives <laughs> in his hat. <laughs> Hello. But what? <laughs> oh! Yeah, like Out here. <laughs> Wait, for real. Hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here with Theodore Fiorina. I don't like the way you said my name. We did. I, did I actually say it wrong? Or um... yeah, Theodore. Te oh, Theodore. Hello. It's Tio here, and we're in Minnesota, <laughs> and we have a fat box of canola. Watch out. Yeah, we're okay. Always cut away from yourself. Yeah. Cut toward a friend. <laughs> Or your fellow teammates. Lace? Okay. Oh, we got all right, all right. packaging paper. Okay, we're gonna start. Now on to the even more hype stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's got some sort of obscure symbol on the front. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, in this box we have everything that's currently in our shop. So if you guys wanna buy anything featured in this unboxing, it's readily available. On greatthing.com. Greatthing.com. Yeah. Readily available. Ooh, so we got the sticky EBH for everyone. Okay, that's nice. Wow. We have classic sticky sounds. Uh, such as this sticky inverse stod mod. Wow. Oh, more sticky sounds. Wow, it sounds like you'll do fucking every trick you could ever think of. Oh. That one's a beauty. If you don't know triple Ken flips, you'll learn triple Ken flips on this. Right, we know this oh, one. We know this one. Cracking over over there. All right, this is oh a full walnut stitch wow. already in store for you guys to cop now. Look at That's this. That's GTTC shape, designed by your favorite team, Green Free, of course. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, this, now this, oh, that, this is interesting. Yeah. Never. So this is the this is the GT sash utility bag. So Do you want to tell us what colors those are? Little dark green, red caliper. Come on, Christmas tees. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Idea. Halloween was 48 hours ago, and now we're allowed to talk about Christmas. This bag has so many buttons on it. The most buttons of any bag. The most storage. Main main pocket. Two pockets in the main pocket. Now the cool part about this one is you got these straps on the side, which actually each very nicely hold a dama. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. You got one of those, same thing on this side. Set those up. Boom, you're strapped, you got everything you need. Little, little mini mini guy in the front, mini, mini pouch pocket. Second so mini pouch. Slightly less mini one. This one. Double pocket again. What did I tell you guys? Goes in there. But don't even forget about the back. Boom. Oh, what's crazy is I forgot about the back already. Holy shit, there's another pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will never believe this. Ports. I could fit. I can fit my phone in there. I can fit my Hugo knife in there. I can fit this green theory. What else could you fit in there? I can fit this GTEBH in there. And you know what? I can even fit Tio's glasses in here. I bet. You can. Boom. It's all in there. Fits nice and snug. And I feel this. confident. Boom. That they won't break either. That's five items. <laughs> One pocket. One pocket. Was Hold that on. the very back pocket too? That's the that's the back that's pocket. That's the smallest pocket. I just found out about that pocket. That's not even getting into the main pocket. Well, that's enough about this bag. The Rat Ventus mod. Rat Trap King. The Ventus mod comes with a black Tama, which is super rare in the Kanama world because black is the sickest color actually. And it comes with a painted bevel, comes with super rat markings over here. You know, this super rat, this is his rat trap. And the GTTC shape, which features also on the stitch. Oh! I'm What's in here? here? What do you have there, Adrian? Yo, so, for everyone's honed Ken, you gotta have that sick honed walnut grainy BH Tama. Look at it. Ooh. It's just red. Look at all those dots. There's so many dots. Count them. I'm not. This one's got some cool grain too. It's yeah, it's like tiger, tiger, six tiger trees. Stripe looking. Yeah. Wow. Get a load of this. It's pretty pretty gnarly grain on this guy. 
Walnut, rubber mat paint. Got this tracking circle around here. 50% more dots on this one. And you got the nice little caliper on the top. <laughs> okay, we have your Grain Fury mask. So I'm gonna just open this up and show you guys the design. Helps you survive. Oh, it fits perfectly with my glasses too. Please uh, wear Grain Fury mask. Okay. Yo, so it turns out we have just a bag. Not just a bag, a Grain Fury tote bag. Play everywhere. There's not much need more to be said. Look fresh. How much does uh, how much does that hold? got here is a new creation. This is the GTTC hybrid. So walnut sword, maple cups, maple tama with a walnut core in the middle. Walnut, as we know, a little bit more for the stalls than maple. It's got a little bit of little porous, breaks in real nice. And of course you got the important weight differential, maple being a heavier wood than walnut. And that's going to help slap those loons on. Also, it's going to be okay for slings because it's got thinner spike, no base cup hole, so you still got some weight to pull it around there. Nice, pretty red string on this guy. Sticky paint. Now, 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 this is hype. Uh, <laughs> This one is very hype. It's How high? Signature. Extremely hype. It's my signature Tama. That nice bees, black and yellow Tama. Like once again, little tracking circle around there. Eight big old dots. Sticky, sticky paint. 61 millimeter. Fits on just about every can of the game right now. <laughs> Omni, omni direction. Omni axial tracking. Use this one. Yeah. And then do that. Explain the concept of omni directional. Okay, just say yeah, just break down omni axial directional all right. tracking. Alright, alright, alright. This is your Tama. It can you do a earth turn. It flips on this axis. If you got a stripe, you see the stripe moving. That helps you do that. There's also this axis, the spinny axis. That's the scientific term for it. And for this, if you just have a solid stripe, sometimes you can't exactly tell how fast it's spinning. If there's any kind of quirky motion, it gets a little bit lost with the solid stripe. With the dots, you see the dots moving around, you know it's spinning one way or the other. You can see the wobble a lot better. Basically every different direction that it, every axis on which it could be spinning, you got tracking to make that as obvious as possible. Omniaxial tracking. And for extra confirmation, you got an extra line around your bevel. Boom. Just so you know. Straight facts. This is a Brano TC canvas series. We have full Zebrano, natty. Looks super crazy. I mean, the grains are all have all been insane. We have a small little dot in the base cup. You ever notice this? Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. crosshair yeah. action. Yeah. And then, What's, yeah. Uh, do you know what that, you know what that's for? A little, little cross? No, Ben. Please explain. Ah, well, so that's actually a guide for, as it, 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 it being a canvas, the whole idea is you could do anything with this. You could paint it, you could wood burn it, you could go crazy. And this just helps if you're going to do a little design of the base cup, if you're going to drill the base cup, it doesn't matter. It's the exact center of the base cup. It's already marked for you. It's a little template for your artwork, whatever it's gonna be. What is this guy doesn't believe me. I do believe you. I think I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I, you do know what you don't respect about. me. I do Let's respect you. Let's just get this out of me over, okay? <laughs> <laughs> First, <laughs> and Teo. Yeah. Oh man. Um, oh. You done going kill uh, Teo. So, so what's, uh, what's, up with the, what's up with the Tama? The, the, okay, the, so the, the feel, you know? The Tama feels like a world of possibilities. So anything you want, anything you can imagine, is real. <laughs> he said it. <laughs>
the Kendama Easter Island slogan. <laughs> Hey, Kanam Israel, I saw you shitting on natties yesterday. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Zebrano canvas. It's Brad. Available on the Grain Fury website. Just like all these Kanamas, everything in this box is all on the website right now. Next up. Adrian. Big hype. So, ye while back in the ancient times of 2019, uh, Damon Kirchmeier, Jake Weens, and I, Tio is there too, and, and we embarked on this, our cl classic Dhamma pilgrimage to Japan, and we created this dope photo book of all our different things that happened, uh, yeah, check, check out that radness, even from over there, you, like, you trying to see it closer? Buy it. I personally think we just all combine our, our different talents in photography, our, and just our love for Kendama and made this really beautiful book that you guys should check out. It's super sick. There's a lot of really, really dope shots in there and you guys are an unstoppable photography team. Oh! What balls you got oh, in that bag, man? Interesting sound. This is not uh, like a Kendama, what is this? Maybe there's all a right. more room up here. Yeah. All right, so, let me part. Yeah. The Sea of Dawn. Not oh, red. <laughs> Alright, in here we have... Let's let you see, peek into this bag. Alright. What? These are the Grain Fury Bocce... Or the Grain Fury Bocce set, actually. This is going to be super tough, guys. Alright, let's, let's grab this other bag <laughs> to put these balls on. Nice. Multi-purpose. All right, so bocce is an Italian game played with a total of nine balls. So we have two sets of four balls and a polino. Explain to me what a polino is. The polino is the first ball you throw in the game of bocce. And then you want to play, you're usually in teams of two, so every player has two balls. And the players try to get these bigger balls as close as they can to the Polino. And the goal is to get a certain amount of points before the other team. And you can decide to knock another ball out or, you know, it's a, there's just a lot of technique and it's an old Italian game. And what's special about these is that they're made out of Zebrano. So here we have Zebrano and Purple Hearts. These guys are gonna be available on the website soon. And in classic grain theory fashion, burn lines all across the tamas, and little calipers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rep the set, you know. Boom. Two sets of song lines. All right. Nisa. If you guys haven't played bocce tama, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a good time. Are they gonna our, be out by the time this comes out? All right, scoot it over, scoot it over. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey guys. So Jake, we're doing something. Yeah, Jake decided just, that it was okay Jake, for him to just sit here we're with super us. Super busy right now. Just, as, quick, okay. as if he was even a like grain theory pro. Like, come on. <laughs> just make it quick, okay? We're in the no. Dark. I'm just here to talk about something fresh and new. Oh, um, oh, oh, because but but fresh and new, but also a throwback at the same time. We have colliding timelines happening right here. <laughs> okay, we're done with the sound effect. Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. But no, I have a new Kendama design with the GTTC, and it is this red ball right here. You might be asking yourself, I've never seen a red ball Kendama, and that's because you're new at Kendama. And <laughs> if you ever say, and if you're saying, whoa, sick, that's a red ball Kendama. I haven't seen one of those in years. You're an OG, you've been playing for a long time. So, this is my new GTTC. This is the red ball, uh, and it's made of beech wood. And so back in the day, whenever I first started playing, your color choices were red, white, blue, leaf green, light blue, pink, but the red ball was the most iconic of those. Like when you think about a kendama, if you ask someone to draw a kendama, 
they're probably going to draw a red ball, right? Yeah. Um, and so I really just kind of, as Kendama design progressed and progressed and progressed, I was like, I just need to like bring it back and do something that's like more of a throwback. We actually have a little seal here, and this is my little Ooh. Kendama drawing right here. Um, and this is pad printed on there because you can't put a seal on a swoop. So on this shape, you've got a base cup hole here and in English and Japanese, it says, remember the past, create the future. And uh, I've got my little signature underneath the, the cup here and the calipers here and a white string. The goal was to create a kendama that had certain visual aspects of the past but then more of like a modern current shape. The other thing that I brought back for this, you already know I threw the wormhole on there just for fun. For having that alternative string method. It's something I love and I love playing around with. I know some people have tried it and some people haven't, but it's just a different, it's something else that you can just add to your Kendama arsenal and be able to play on, like play something different. So this is going to be available soon, if not now already. So this is, my new TC, and I'm really stoked on it. <laughs> Get a load of that. Yeah. Classic KDMA Kendama. A lot. Look at it. Look yeah, at that. this is our online shop in person right here. All of it? Pretty much. <laughs> All right, guys. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations. You just earned yourself a suggestion of going to the shop and checking all this stuff out. And uh, make sure to check out all the different shapes. Shapes are one of the best things in Kendama for the fact that they give you suggestions on the tricks you should lace. My name is Jake Weens. We got Adrian Esteban, Tidor Fiorina, and Ben Harold right here. And we will see you soon in some sick videos, Instagram clips, and maybe in person. Perfect.